I think we're about to get some bad weather, y'all. Actually, I think it's more north of us, but it's looking a little bit eerie out here. Hello, by the way. Happy first day of the vlog. So it is 5.30 almost. I am going to meet my sister for Mexican food, and then we're going to go see a movie. So I figured I would start the vlog today since I'm actually doing something other than the usual work things. So I'm letting Cash go to the bathroom before we go. Brian gets off, I think it's 7, so he'll be home soon. But the movie starts at 7.30. I'm supposed to meet her at 6 for some tacos. It's hot outside. I'm wearing the actual white Sublime t-shirt I talked about last vlog that I distressed myself. This one's a little bit off too. I'm not going to lie. And maybe it doesn't look like it now. But I do feel like that this graphic is a little bit off too. Nothing like the other one. But anyway, let's go. You going to be okay? That flash turned on by itself, y'all. How weird is that? I need to turn that automatic flash off. Okay, you be good girl. And then we got Miss Layla. Sorry about the light. I'll turn it off. No. Oh. I'm leaving 30 minutes early because five o'clock traffic gets so bad in front of our neighborhood. And when I'm trying to go left, like if I was trying to go right, it's easy, you know, but trying to go left, I'd be sitting there for a while okay we're going to see the new magic mike movie what's it called i know where there was magic mike and then there wasn't Ma wasn't there magic mike xxl i don't know if i watched that one it's not really about the movie it's more so about spending time with my sister and doing something different and fun so that's the movie we're going to see i think she said her husband's gonna drop her off and then the, the movie theater is just across the street i know how much y'all love seeing candace I always get questions and comments. Like anytime she's in the video, love seeing Candace. Or when she's not in the video, somebody will say, oh, where's Candace? So I know y'all like seeing her. I'm way early, y'all. Do I go in or do I just wait? It's not very busy, um, but if I go in, I'm sitting by myself for 15 minutes. That's a long time. It's not like a five minute wait. Update, it's now 5.54. I waited it out as long as I could but it's getting busy and she's not answering. The Marachi band is here. They're unloading their car. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and try to get a table and I guess just call her from inside. So this is where we are, San Miguel. They just brought chips and salsa. Candace is running a little bit late. Front row seat to the Marachi band. I forgot to vlog with Candace at Mexican. We are now at the movie theater. We got some popcorn, smart waters and candy. She's in the restroom. Hi! <laughs> Uh, yes, I think so. It's changed in here a lot. Like, it looks like they're either remodeling or not going to be open for long. We should do the photo booth. Mom, I need a picture. She just texted me. Oh, it's like the door's already open. I was ready to hold it for you. Here's our seats that I picked for us. Got her popcorn and her treat. That's not my car. Post Magic Mike, what'd you think? about the movie. Oh, Originals are always the best. Well, it was cute. It was cute. I liked it. It's not cold out here despite all the wind blowing and what it looks like. Candace also brought a blanket. Look, I'm always cold and of course the morning is cold. Good morning. It's 7.10, 7.08, 7.10 on Monday. I'm going to sit and make it in hot yoga. I had to walk out. Well, I went back in, but that's the first time since I couldn't even tell you. I've, I don't think I've ever walked out unless it was maybe when I first started, like eight, nine years ago or something crazy like that. I did it. I did it on and off for a long time. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't think I ate enough yesterday or like, I don't know what happened, but I was so hungry this morning that like so hungry, you feel kind of nauseous. But it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm not going to eat before I go. Certainly, I don't want to get sick in there from food. So I just, you know, what about my day? And then about halfway through, yeah, it was we had just done, we'd finished all the standing up exercises. And we were sitting, like, laying down to do all the, like, laying down things. And I was like, well, I should probably, I should probably go to the bathroom. <laughs> but I came back within, it was just a few minutes. And I was fine. I didn't get sick or anything. All right, good morning. Happy Monday. So on tap for today, I have a lot of work to do, but I need to go get a new 
razor. Is that not exciting? It's not. Um, but I, I grocery shopped without you and I apologize because I made a comment a few vlogs back, back that was like, oh, I feel like all I ever do is grocery shop. So I didn't take you. And I had so many people that were like, no, we, li we like to see it. I didn't take you. Brian and I went on Friday. So I figured we could go to Walmart instead. So we'll go, I need some butter and I need a razor. And then, like I mentioned, I have a lot of work to do today, but I think I'm going to cook salmon for dinner. I've been obsessed with salmon lately. I don't know why. I just feel like it's so good. Um, so we have this pear, like spring mix salad pear something. It's not with a G. It's so good. So I think I'm going to make that with some salmon, maybe some kind of carb for dinner. That's the plan, but first coffee and then we'll go to Walmart together. Okay, coffee check. However, change of plans. We're going to go to Publix instead. I just like Publix better, y'all. I'm also in shorts and it's 50 degrees outside. Okay, butter first. We like this one, but also this one is really good. So I'm going to grab both of these. And I forgot to grab those lemon waters that I like. I actually grabbed smart water which is on this exact same aisle, but didn't turn around and grab lemon water. See, this is exactly how a quick run to grab butter and a razor turns into more. So, Cash really likes these greenies, so we're gonna get her, yeah, the large. I think she's 51, maybe 50, 51 pounds. I did see some razors by the register, but I wanted to look on this aisle. That's toothbrushes. Let's see, we have makeup, nail polish. So they may just have them near the register. That's kind of weird, huh? Is it weird? Is it not weird? <laughs> oh, shaving needs. Um, okay, yeah, so they must just have razors near the register. Besides like these electric ones down here okay so we'll go back to that end cap have y'all ever tried these Avino shave gel helps prevent razor bumps therapeutic this is helps you shave less often flamingo I've never heard of Avino I've heard of and they do good um, like eczema lotiony type products but also there's these Gillette ones sensitive skin ultra sensitive skin and Olay has one do, do we like these? Do we not like these? I don't know. I'm tempted to try one. I think I'm going to try this Aveeno one, actually. Probably this therapeutic one. Wet area to be shaved. Put a small amount of gel on fingertips. Rub over skin. Shave and rinse. Okay. It's on sale for $3.79. Here's some more of those Aveeno products, like the lotions and stuff. Daily Moisture, $17. What? Is that a normal price? That seems crazy. Right? No? Yes? No? I've been liking the... I don't see it here. But it's the... Not Nivea. Neutrogena, maybe, for men? Something like that. In a blue bottle, like a navy blue bottle. I've been liking that lotion a lot. So I don't really need any. But I get suckered in, y'all, like the Aveeno. If I'm going to get the shave gel, I might as well get the lotion, too, you know? No. No, we don't need it. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is exactly what I just said, how it happens. Let's go get a razor and go home. <laughs> Wait, one more side note. I had no idea Publix sold Pureology. I like the blue one, which is... What is the blue one? Strength, maybe? Um, I've never tried pure volume. I, I couldn't imagine a shampoo that added volume to my hair. Hydrate is a little bit too heavy for my hair. Smooth, though I've never tried. They also sell Redken. <gasps> Color Extend Magnetics Shampoo. Frizz Dismiss. Ooh, Olaplex too. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I like this one. I've never tried the gold. The, the blue one, I know for sure. I like. What else? Living Proof? 
I've only ever tried the dry, maybe shampoo or I tried something and didn't love it. But I see a lot of people, like influencers online, use it and really love it. So do I need to give Living Proof another go? Let me know. What else we got? L'Oreal down there is salon quality. Well, dang. Cheap products. I used to religiously use those as well as this BioSilk. Remember that? Okay. If you see a shampoo and conditioner right here that you love, that you think I would like, let me know. I'm always open to trying new things. All right, here we go. So you've got like your package ones down here. And then these, I guess, that you can buy, like, you know, repurchase the little heads on them. I don't know what, I, what I'm looking for though. These are cute. Is that how we buy razors? $7.51? Like, they're cute. They've got a little strip of aloe. That's probably what I'll go with. Extra smooth. That's another tropical three-pack, same price. Uh, oh, there's a sensitive. What is that? What's the difference? Um, a strip that for easy glide. Doesn't really say anything different than this one. And I like those better. So we're gonna get these. Also, my eczema itchiness has moved up to my neck nowadays. I just love that for me. Lewis, <gasps> did you sleep good last night? Oh my goodness. She gets so excited when I get home because she doesn't see me. Like she stays sleeping when I leave super early like this. So she gets so excited when I get home. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow just for my um, thyroid medication. So I'm just going to mention it because I've seen a bunch of dermatologists about it and I would like to figure out the root cause of the problem, right? Not just band-aid it with some allergy pills. So I'm going to ask about it tomorrow. This grass is so tall out here too. It needs to be cut. Let me check out my lemon tree. Here we go. Lemon tree update. It's looking pretty good. I think we're going to take all this out. Like, see, it's all overgrown. And these, Brian swears they're growing back. Y'all tell me they're not, and I believe y'all. So, we need to just, I want to just take all this out. Just let it be grass. We'll let the tree grow. It's, ugh, I need to do something. This side we'll keep because there's no grass over there. And put a new tree. Like, just make it look so much nicer for summertime. The pool looks nice, though, huh? you would think you could swim right now. I bet it's freezing. Are you gonna go potty? She is. She definitely is. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is about 7 50 in the morning. I'm headed to my doctor's appointment. I could have slept in today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do y'all ever feel like that? Like when you have to wake up because you have something to do, you could sleep in. But on the days that you have nothing to do or the days that you wake up super early, all right, so I talked to y'all yesterday about the doctor's appointment. Um, I'm also going to talk about, we talked about itchy legs, all that kind of stuff. I also think my eczema, I get it sometimes on my eyelids, and I think it's coming back right there. So I'm going to talk to him about that. Also, you're not at a very good angle. I get that. It happens, you know? What about, <laughs> at this point, it is what it is. Uh, so on tap today, last night, let's talk about yesterday first. I slept. I'm not the kind of person, like, I don't really take naps. And yesterday was the exception. I don't know, maybe I needed it. I slept. Um, and then I did make salmon for dinner. And I, what did I make with it? Oh, these, like, steakhouse green beans, like a steamer bag. Oh, my gosh, they're so good. I like those. And I also like the seasoned broccoli. Sometimes you can find, like, the ranch seasoned cauliflower. That's good, too. If you need quick, easy... Um, veggie ideas anyway so we did that for dinner I did nothing yesterday and then so today we're gonna do this and then I also am gonna film really quickly and then my mom's coming over and we're gonna go to Dolphin Island uh, we would go to Gulf Shores but it's Fat Tuesday so if you celebrate Mardi Gras happy Fat Tuesday it's not for me anymore I used to be out and about that was my thing now I, I'm not trying to do it um, but instead of going to Gulf Shores which would mean we would have to pass even though you're on the interstate pass through downtown and the uh, causeway and all that stuff, it's gonna be insanely busy. So we're opting for Dolphin Island instead, which is the other way. So that's the plan. I guess I'll see y'all when that all that stuff happens. 
Oh, I forgot to bring a breakfast bar. Dang it. Those um, Quest, I think it's called blueberry muffin, like protein bars. Oh my gosh. They're so good and I forgot to bring one because I'm pretty sure they're going to draw my blood. I don't have a snack. That's all right. I'm sure they have snacks for people that, if anything happens. I'm not normally that kind of person. I've never, that's never happened to me. But just in case, I like to be prepared. So let's do this first. Make sure everything's good in my system. And then I'll see you probably when my mom gets there and we get to Dauphin Island. It's not super pretty outside today. It's kind of overcast. So I'm hoping maybe it's it'll change or maybe it's a little bit different at the beach. Okay, I have a few minutes. <laughs> I'm like super early. I, I took into account traffic because it's before 8 a.m. But I forget school's out for Mardi Gras week. And most, I guess a lot of people are off work as well. It kind of is like a holiday. All right, so what I wanted to say is, so you'll get this vlog on Thursday of this week. Yes, today is Tuesday. So you'll get this vlog on Thursday, but then on Tuesday of next week, we leave for Nashville. So I don't know how much you'll get vlog. You won't get any, you probably won't get a vlog on Thursday because we're out of town through the rest of the week and I don't want to work. I'm sorry. I know, but I do have some other videos like fun videos on top of, okay, so let's backtrack. You're about to get a ton of swimsuit partnership videos. I signed all these deals because I thought, how fun. I know y'all want to see these. I want to try them. And then they all started showing up at my house at the same time. So I'm spreading them out, yes, but you're still going to get quite a few within the next like couple of weeks. But I also have some other fun types of videos sprinkled in that aren't like partnership collab videos that I've just wanted to do like Nashville type themed videos. And then I ordered the Universal Standard Mystery Boxes. I ordered another, <clears throat> excuse me, cider order. Well, I exchanged, exchanged some things. I'll explain in that video. So I do have some fun videos coming, um, but I just wanna warn you that you're about to get quite a few swimsuit videos in a very short amount of time. So back to Nashville. I probably won't have a vlog Thursday. I'm just going to say it. I will not have a vlog on Thursday next week, but I can combine like two weeks for the following week. I most likely won't vlog in Nashville. Brian's going, my sister, her husband, and my nieces are going. Um, so it's not really like a work, like vlogging trip. You'll see some things here and there, I'm sure. But for the most part, if you want to follow along like in real time, then go like follow me on Instagram because that's all I post stories and all kind of stuff over there. So that'll be like your real time thing if you want to follow along. Otherwise, you may not get much in the vlog. So, oh my gosh, my neck itches. Anyway, just a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, I'm going to go in early. Maybe they'll see me early. Okay, I'm dressed and I'm waiting on my mom. Here's my thought process. I have this oversized Nike dress. I'm wearing a swimsuit underneath it. My thought is I could change under the shirt, like under the dress, instead of having to run back up to the bathrooms and change and come back down every time. The place where we're going to go, no one ever is. So that's the plan. Okay, update. We made it all the way out here and it's cloudy. You can't even see the water. You couldn't even see coming over the bridge. We've drove to a few different spots, but it's just not pretty out here today. So I guess we'll just shoot him at home. I am home now. Tell me why it's sunny at my house, but not at the beach. My mom and I went ate Mexican food. <laughs> per usual, no surprise. Um, and then I came home and filmed. So I'm a little bit warm, I'm a little bit sweaty, but it was sunny outside. So I did get some pretty stuff outside. I need to clean up that pool area so that on days like this, it's very like tropical back there and I can film. So I'm about to put all like import all my footage into my computer. I didn't lay anything out for dinner. Brian didn't lay anything out for dinner. So, I don't know what the plan is yet for that. He does get off 
um, early today. So we'll have to figure out something for dinner. Okay, the doctor's appointment this morning. I realized that I didn't tell you anything. So he's gonna refer me to an allergist, um, but he said it sounds like it's environmental just based on where it is on my body, like the exposed parts. And the fact that it's been happening, I mean, I was a not a baby, but I was very small with itchy skin. I remember my mom was telling me this yesterday. She took me to the doctor and he, that doctor couldn't figure out what it was, called another doctor and that doctor couldn't figure out what it was. So she said it was so scary because they pulled in this big book of things to look through and finally said, is there like road work or con road construction near you? My mom said, yeah. And they said, that's what it is. Tell her not to marry a construction worker. So... I think it's gonna just be the environment, the elements. However, I'm still gonna go to the allergist and pinpoint like it may be a certain type of flower or something like that. So that's the update from that. Everything else is good. I'm gonna edit. Jump scare. I just got my Brazilian and now I'm pretty sure y'all know I do my lip and my chin. Um, I was supposed to actually come last week, but she was sick. So that means it was four weeks, because typically typically I come every three weeks. So it was four weeks. While like my lip and chin wasn't that bad, it's really just peach fuzz that I get, but I I don't like it, so I had to get it taken off. But the Brazilian, oh, I don't know if I was gonna make it. Like it doesn't hurt right now anymore, but at the time, like when they ripped that like sugar wax stuff off. But we're good. All is good. So last night we just ate McDonald's for dinner. Brian ended up working a little bit later than expected. I did get a call this morning already from the doctor's office. Uh, they had called me an appointment in with the allergist. It's not until April, but that's okay. They said that a lot of times they get cancellations, so I can always call in and check. But um, I got that appointment in. Now I'm headed to the post office. I have two packages I need to drop off. I want a Chick fil A Cobb salad for lunch if you want a really great cold salad and this is nothing new because they it's in the app you can order it this way so I know a lot of people do but I get the Cobb salad no tomatoes with the chilled grilled chicken so it's like cold super thin strips of chicken why am I going this way I guess we'll go this way uh, so it's like cold strips of seasoned chicken I get extra chicken on top for the extra protein and then I get the garden urban ranch dressing with it so freaking good I try to get protein in because I don't lift weights and work out strength training and stuff anymore I just do hot yoga and I don't want to lose all that muscle that I worked hard to build so I try to get the protein in it also helps me to feel full throughout the day and just feel better and stuff like that I could do I don't know if anybody's interested in seeing like what I eat in a day because I'm not a fitness YouTube channel. I'm not like, I'm just, I'm just living my life. You know what I mean? Um, but my weight does fluctuate quite a bit. We know that if you've been here for any amount of time, it goes up and down. So it's just life. I'm just living my life. I'm just trying to eat in a way that I can eat for the rest of my life. Did you care about that? Probably not. All right, so today, post office, then Chick-fil-A. I need to go home, I'm doing laundry. I need to film today because I'm going out of town next week. I didn't take this into account. So I have a full schedule. I have two things I need to film and then like three things I wanna edit in addition to this video. But I didn't take this into account. So I'm gonna go home and do a bunch of editing first. And then maybe in a couple of hours, this will die down a little bit and I will feel better about putting makeup on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did I say already thumbs up, subscribe? You know the drill. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, welcome to my life. It's not really exciting, but I don't know. I love watching vlogs, like the mundane things that people do, whether it's grocery shopping, running errands, not so much cleaning. I don't really, really love cleaning vlogs, but I'll see you in my next one. Let me know about next week because you won't get a vlog, but it'll be okay. That's it. That's a wrap. I'll see you later. Goodbye.